failed braking system had caused the oil rig at Jurong Shipyard to tilt 10 degrees to one side, resulting in what has been described as one of Singapore's worst shipyard accidents. During a technical briefing on Tuesday, Samcorp Marine revealed that the rig had tilted a further 7 degrees since the accident, but it is currently stable. Razor TV went out to sea to get a closer look at the condition of the rig. Now behind me is the checkup rig at Jurong Shipyard which stands at about 15 storeys high and as you can see is prominently slanted to one side. Now if you compare the rig next to it, you can have an idea of just how severe yesterday's accident was. Now all work has since stopped on the site and occupational safety officers and health inspectors are currently on site to investigate. The brake failure was said to have occurred more than 24 hours after a load testing conducted by Samcorp Marine. A 9,000 ton load was placed on each of the rig's three legs for a minimum of two hours to test the strength of the rig. Of the 89 workers who were sent to the hospital after the accident, six remained in hospital with minor injuries. They are expected to be discharged within the next few days. First, we have to ensure our own uh, workers they are in uh, uh, good hands of our management staff and also that they can recover uh, speedily and also emotionally they are being uh, 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 counselled uh, properly. And on the technical part, we, will, uh, we are working with all the uh, makers, the designer, the checking specialists, the customer and our design house so that we can jointly develop a recovery plan how to make the rig to the upright position and uh, follow which we will then look into the root cause of the failure of the equipment components. Acting Minister for Manpower Tan Chuan Jin visited the Jurong shipyard on Tuesday, a day after an accident involving 89 workers who were then sent to the hospital. The minister spoke to the company and was reassured by the efforts taken to ensure the safety of the workers. He also complimented the company on their efficiency in handling the situation. What I found encouraging was the speed at which the evacuation took place. As I understand it, uh, within about 20 minutes or so, uh, the majority, in fact everyone was evacuated from the rig itself. And, uh, and they spent the next uh, 20 over minutes or so accounting for numbers. And in fact, uh, the evacuation wasn't uh, just at the rig itself, but I mean in the associated area. You can see the dry dock here and then the, the ship just next to the rig. Basically, everyone was evacuated. So I think those steps were, were well taken. Sounds like they were well taken to make sure that uh, there were no more threats of other uh, injuries that would take place. So I think that, that's been encouraging. So the focus now really, I think the next step is to investigate the cause of the incident and to see what lessons we can learn from it. Close to a thousand personnel were on site at the time of the accident, ranging from workers and supervisors to inspectors and clients. Samcorp Marine said they have arranged for counsellors to speak to the workers and will be covering their medical costs.